Hey guys, so today we will be making broccoli with an Asian flavor kind of garlic sauce. I also stole this one from online. The recipe is in the description as usual. Let's get cooking. First, we're going to turn the broccoli bunch upside down and use our chef's knife, or whichever knife we have on hand, to cut the florets down into a bowl. I'm not a fan of the stem, so I'm just gonna not cut that. Now if any of the pieces are a little too big, you can very carefully cut them in half. For safety, you should do this on the cutting board, but I live dangerously. <laughs> I will not waste the stem though. I'll first chop it into little pieces. And all those little pieces will be going into my broth bag for later use in making a veggie broth. Next, we'll gather a couple cloves of garlic. I use about two. To make it easier to get off the skins, I first crush them a little bit with the flat end of my chef's knife. I'll then chop them into little pieces, very carefully. To get the pieces even smaller, I'll use this rocking motion. I'll do this for about a minute or so until the pieces of garlic are very small. I'll then scrape these pieces of garlic into a bowl. And into the bowl with the garlic, I'll add a little bit of chicken or vegetable broth, whichever you have. That there's a quarter cup. I'll also add about a tablespoon of soy sauce. In order to thicken the sauce somewhat, I will add about a half tablespoon of flour. The recipe calls for cornstarch. Some would argue that cornstarch is a better thickener, but I have flour on hand and I think it does an all right job. I then use my whisk to break up any clumps of flour. Now onto the stove top, I'll add a little bit of sesame oil to a pan. And I'll turn the heat to about medium. The recipe calls for medium high, but I think that's too high for sesame oil. We'll add the broccoli florets to the oil and stir them constantly. Sesame oil burns very easily. Keep the broccoli moving. If you need to turn down the heat, do so. I will let the broccoli cook for about four minutes that way before adding the garlic sauce. I'll stir to coat the broccoli and cook this way for about three minutes. To garnish, I'll add a couple sesame seeds, just to make the broccoli a little prettier. We 
it in sir hi guys so that's our recipe a couple notes before we close here firstly if you follow the recipe as i did you will come out with some broccoli that's kind of hard and crisp i like that but if by some chance you don't here's how to get around it after you cut the florets and put them in a bowl, throw a little bit of water in there and cover it with plastic wrap. Just throw that in the microwave for about a minute and that'll kind of half cook the broccoli. Continue by, you know, with the garlic sauce and the broccoli in the pan and, you know, you'll come out with something a little bit softer if you like that kind of thing. Secondly, I made half of what you will find from the recipe online. You'll note in the end, I reserve half the broccoli for another portion in the name of moderation. Thank you for watching.